Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to Medicine Creek. Now, since we were last here, we've skipped forward a little bit of time. We were spraying for weeds and our crops are only just germinated. We're now into late summer and there hasn't been much to do, except for wait for the crops to mature. So we're just going to go out and scout a few fields, see what our crops are doing, and probably then head back and pull the combines and headers and everything out and get them all ready to roll because I don't think we're going to be too far away from making a start and harvest. In fact, you can see in that field in front of us, our soybeans, they are looking nice and healthy. Nice thick crop there, so uh, that's all looking pretty good. So we'll head down past this field, head down to the others, check on the corn and the other soybeans and uh, probably make some decisions after we've seen those. We just pulled up here in the cornfield, this is field number 22 and the corn is all looking nice and healthy, nice and tall too, well over our heads, be a good 7 or 8 feet tall. That's all looking good, not far away from being ready to harvest I wouldn't have thought. We'll just wander through the back here, field number uh, 23, I'm going to remove my field numbers now, pretty sure it's 23, but uh, soybeans all look like they've got a good crop of beans on there and uh, they're looking nice and green the whole way across the field. That's all, all looking very promising, so I think based on that we are not going to be too far away from making a start on harvest. So we'll get back over to the yard, we'll hook up a few of the combines, get the headers pulled out, get the grain cart all set up and make sure our trucks are all good to go and uh, then we'll be straight into harvest as soon as we can make a start. I think first things first, we'll get into the shed here, we'll go and I think we'll need to pull the pull the grain cart out first and then we'll be able to pull the combines through, hook them up to one of the headers, in fact we might go get one of the tractors and pull the headers out as well, just uh, to get them around into the yard and make sure we can get everything all set up, ready to go. But uh, yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to get the combine through that gap, we'll get the headers out first. So we'll uh, get this door here open. And I think we're going to use the 8RT here on the grain cart. I think that is going to be the best tractor we have. Not our most powerful tractor, but I think, uh, what have we got? We've got the 1300. So it's not the biggest grain cart, so we should be good to go with that. So we'll uh, go and grab that tractor, and then come back over and get the headers out. Alright, so we've got the first of the headers out. Uh, I've actually decided we will just start with a single header. We're going to start in the soybeans over the road when we are able to and that field probably only needs the one combine, it's not worth getting two up in there. So we'll just make sure we'll get one up and running, make sure everything is working, calibrated and set up to go properly. And uh, then, once we've moved into some of the bigger fields, we'll be able to get a second combine up and going. And I think we're having two combines is really going to come into its own though, will be when we get into the corn. But we'll just uh, get everything hooked up, make sure it's all going to run properly, and then we'll probably move forward and do some harvesting. There we go, we've got the header on, we've got the hopper unfolded, everything seems to be going. The ear bar there on the front, that seems to be whirring away nicely, and the reel and cutting bar all seem to be working as we would expect. So, we'll uh, look like we're all ready to go there for making a start. We'll get this uh, put back on the trailer, not going to be running down the road like that, and uh, we'll see you when the crops are all good to go. We've just come for a walk up here to the field over the road from the farm and we're just going to take a quick look. Looks like they are all good to go. Might just jump over the fence and uh, check the moisture, make sure we are able to harvest in here. We'll just get the meter out there and have a look. 14% moisture. So that is all looking pretty good there. 67% fertilized. I thought we would have been higher than that. I wonder if that's uh, precision farming, which changes the fertilization percentage. Alright, well, with that in mind, let's go and uh, get all the equipment over here and make a start. Just before we do get down to the fields, there was one other thing I remembered I needed to organise. Now, I've been doing a little bit of research in our downtime, and I read about a system called Bushels Plus. 
which we can use to calibrate the combine, make sure we're not getting any loss going through with the chaff that gets thrown out the back. So I'm just heading down here to the store and we're going to pick up two of those, one for each combine, and uh, get those put on the back. Because if we can uh, improve our yield, or at least make sure everything's calibrated correctly, then that will be a uh, another bonus towards trying to achieve our bushels target that we have for both our corn and our soybeans. So we'll just jump into the shop, we can have to borrow a little bit more money and we'll get that purchased and back down to the farm. And here we are, this is all it is, it's a magnetised tray, you can see down the bottom there, it has a remote control that goes with it, so when you're sitting in the combine you can be driving along, measuring what's going out through the chaff, and uh, then you just press a remote, it releases the tray, drops it into the field, and you can go and have a look to see how much grain you might have lost out the back, and if it's too much, you can calibrate the combine better, if, it's, uh, if there's no grain in it, then you know you set up well. So we're going to give that a try and see if that will help with our yields. So we'll get back down to the farm and start getting things set up. Alright, back here. Let's uh, pull up here by the combine and see if we can figure out how to get these things hooked up and working for us. So I think it's as simple as putting it down here behind. I think we have to have the sticker there facing outwards. Not 100% certain. Let's just see. Can't see if it shows anything there. We'll try it around that way and see what happens with it. And there we go. As you can see, up here in the combine, we've got an option to attach it. We can attach it there, and I think now that it's in place, using our mouse buttons, we can move it around and look, put it somewhere so it looks like it's a little bit more attached to the combine. Alright, well it looks like we might be stuck with it, sort of just sitting in there, we'll just leave it there I think for now. Not quite as attached to the combine as we'd like, but working all the same. So, we'll go and get the pickup put out of the way and head on up to the field. I've got the header here, we are heading up first, one of the workers is following behind in the combine. Thought it would be best to get this up and into the field, we do have a little bit of space in the field entry to try and position the header in a way that we can probably try and hook it up. I'm just trying to think of how we're going to do that. Not a huge amount of space. We'll just get turned in there and see what we can see how we can wiggle around. All right, I've managed to get the header trailer in, turned around, and positioned across the vehicle entrance. There, we did it without. I don't think we managed to catch any of the edge of the crop, which was good. Combine is parked up there on the other side. So we're just going to have to wait for a little bit of a break in the traffic. And hopefully, even though it's on a bit of a slope, hopefully we can get up and get this header hooked up. Then we'll pull the trailer out of the way once it's lifted up and off the trailer. And get on into the field. Alright, we're looking pretty good to the right there. I can't see anything coming over that brow. Left's looking pretty good too, so I think this is our opportunity. There we go, pulling up and perfect. And we're even actually far enough off the road. We can just park there while we get this heater trailer moved out of the way. And there we are, I think I'm wedged in there about as far as I can without catching too much of the crop. I think we might have lost a couple of plants there on the corner. We are far enough that I think we're going to be able to drive the heater up and over that trailer nice and carefully just to see how we go with negotiating that. Here we are. As the combine went up the hill, so did the header. Right, well, I think it is time to make a start. I'm just going to cut a bit of an opening in here. We can turn our flashes off. Need to get the combine unfolded as well. But um, as I said, I was just cut a little bit of an opening in here and then we're going to get a worker running on this. I'll head back down and get the grain cart and get a semi up here and we'll be all good to go. Alright, let's get this all turned on. I'm intrigued to see what our yields are going to be like. Don't want our swath dropping on, we'll turn that off. There we are. 
sneak past the tractor and we were off on our way so there we are sitting just over 85 about 85 bushels an acre which isn't too bad because I do know the outside of these fields aren't meant to yield quite so high so if we can get into some areas where we're around 90 bushels an acre we'll, uh, I'll be pretty happy now with the bushel plus I think if we just change to that we can press the release button and it has, I think we're just going to have a look in there oh, has dropped the tray but because of the position I had the mod at it hasn't actually fallen down the idea is that that red section would fall onto the field and any chaff would get sprayed onto it and we'd be able to have a look to see if there was any grain being lost through there so that is the concept behind it I think we've just got it positioned in slightly the wrong position so we'll just disconnect that try reattaching it and see if we can get it out of there so back underway I've got the bushel plus set up right under the centre of the combine I think if I just press X there there we go we've got the pan has dropped off and our chaff has been sprayed into it so if we just pause there again for a second go ahead and have a quick look here so there's our pan got some chaff in it and uh, ideally now we'd be able to calibrate our combine and make sure that uh, we're not losing any grain out of the back of there obviously that's not something we can do at least not with this mod uh, but it does provide a boost to the yield of 10% so we'll just back that back up in there and try and fold that back in there we go looks like it's been picked up so now we've done that and experimented with all of that i'll set up course play we'll uh get underway properly in the field and we'll go and get the grain cut and there we go we've got course play underway and we are off again harvesting so that's all looking very good it's working very well so we've got two headland passes I wouldn't have been able to get three on the skinniest part of the field down there would have made it too difficult so we'll leave them here let them carry on with the harvesting and we'll go and get the grain cart so we've got the grain cart here we're just getting into the field I think I will move that header trailer we'll probably put it over into the grass field over the other side of the road there just so it is not in the way but uh, the combine must be running around the other side of the field still hasn't quite made it around here yet so we'll uh, go and get this header trailer moved in fact I better not park there that'll make it quite difficult to turn around uh, but we'll move this out of the way and there we go we can see the combine just around the very bottom we'll leave that there and go and get the header trailer moved by then hopefully the combine will be around and be close to at least needing the first unload so the workers just given me a call and they are already 75% full so I'm not sure if they're actually going to make it the whole way around uh, which is a little bit unfortunate it means we're going to have to run the whole way around the field to get to a point where they can unload uh, obviously if it wasn't course play if I was driving we may have looked at just cutting through the middle of the field there just so it was a little quicker but uh, that's not the case so we'll get around and catch up to them there we go, good timing they are just about full and on their way to cut in so we to get this cover open on the grain cart here never get over watching that animation it is a fantastic fantastic job right we'll get over here and get pulled up next to them and get our first load of soybeans into the cart here There we go. So our first 384 bushels, which is a good start on our way to our 10,000. I'm very impressed with that. And just having a quick look, we are just over a quarter full. So we'd pretty much get almost three full combines hoppers into the uh, cart here so I don't have to rush down and get one of the semis up here but I think as we get back up to the gate I'll uh, 
wander back over to the yard and bring one of the trucks up here just so we're all set up all ready to go and once we've done that we'll be able to jump into a little bit of a montage of the combine working and the grain cart and everything that goes with it we've come down here to the yard jumped into the first of our semis we've got the uh, Timpty trailer there on the back nice hopper bottoms and we're going to run this up and park it up in the field things are nice and dry so we shouldn't have any problems getting in there getting turned around and positioned in a spot that will suit the grain cart so uh, we'll see you up at the field all right so my plan is we'll get turned in here hopefully we won't get caught up it's a bit of a hill but if we turn hard left just park along the edge of the fence here then we can run past with the cart and also let's just check actually we've got our tarp on the wrong side I've been told numerous times you always empty the cart on the side where the tarp is not we may actually have to turn around and face the other way just trying to remember what side the auger comes out on that grain cart the other option is to park more centrally in the field uh, so we'll just have a bit of a play around here figure out where the best spot is going to be all right a strategic three point turn in the middle of the field and I think we're in a much better position there so we can run along beside the augers on the left hand side of the tractor so the right side as we're looking at it so they can run along there or we can run along there with the grain cart and not have any issues with uh, the tarp so we'll leave that there and probably about time we need to go and catch up with the combine and get them unloaded again We've caught up here to the combine, they are not quite full, so not in a desperate need to be unloaded. But I do know how awkward it would have been to do it going around this corner. So we'll get around the corner, we'll uh, get onto a little bit of a straight up section of the field, and pull up beside them to unload. There you go, they've got their auger out, all ready for us. So once we're around the corner here, we should be much better position. Would have been difficult going through that... Uh, little uh, little ditch there or a uh, little rough patch of the field I think if we pull up there next to it, it should be pretty good to stay beside them for a wee while here so I think now that we've got all of the pieces of the puzzle up here in the field we'll uh, just start on a little bit of a montage of the harvest like I said in the bigger fields we will definitely have two combines going but uh, the size of this field just did not justify time it would take to set it all up for uh, the slightly faster harvesting and obviously there's no point setting up a combine in a second field because uh, we don't have another grain cart so we're either running two in one field or one in one field but we can't split them up at the moment so let's carry on and get this all harvested
spawning into the yard with our first load of beans out of the field. 1,251 bushels. So we'll get pulled into here. Should be able to just get in over top of the unload grate there. And once we've pulled that back up, we will get an option there to unload some soybeans. You can just see in there, we'll just zoom in, you can see the front hopper is starting to empty out. Now unfortunately, you can't swap hoppers. I don't think to open them both at the same time. No, you can't. So we'll let that one there empty out. And then, we should be able to press, normally it's U. Here we go, tip side back is U. So I'm just assuming I'm not far enough forward. There we go, we weren't quite over the trigger for the back one. We'll just sit there and you can see that one going out now too. They emptied out pretty quick, nice fast unload on those hopper bottoms, it was good. 1251 bushels though, which is a great start to our uh, target, almost, well we're over a tenth of the way there. 10,000 bushels is our target, uh, I'm pretty confident now having seen the yields that we're getting in this field to feel like we are actually going to reach the target with the soybeans, which is a good way to be. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see once we get into the corn whether we're going to be able to achieve the same sort of success. But uh, I don't want to jump ahead too early, you never know what might happen. What we're going to take is a storm or something to blow through and damage some of our crops or uh, get too wet to be able to harvest. So let's just wait until we've got our crops in the bin. It's clear, let's go and we'll get down here and keep going on getting this field finished off. We're not far from being finished this field, this should be the last time we have to unload the combine. While we're moving, we'll be able to run back over to the truck and dump into there and then the combine can just finish off that last little piece and come and dump straight into the truck rather than bring the cart back over. But uh, that has all gone very smoothly. You cannot fault the performance of any of this equipment it's, uh, it's done a great job and we're getting a great quantity of beans so there's another 700 bushels already in the cart so we're over 2,000 bushels just off this field which is about a fifth of our target I can't actually remember off the top of my head the area of this field but it certainly is the smallest of the three so if we can possibly look to get another uh, 4,000 bushels off each of the other two fields, which I think should be achievable. I'd say they're both at least double the size of this one. We are looking pretty good for our soybean target. We'll just get pulled up here next to the trailer and get this something loaded into that front hopper. I'm not quite close enough. Have to shuffle across a little bit there. There we go. Certainly don't want to have any uh, spilt beans. That would not be a very good result for us. There we go, there's the front hopper full on the trailer. And just a few beans there to put into the back one. We're just going to leave the grain cart here. In fact, we'll move it. I was going to dump straight into the grain cart and from the combine. And uh, then that could go into the truck. But I think... We'll just move this out of the way, the combine can just tip straight into, or unload straight into the truck. We'll just park up here, and uh, this will be ready to move on to the next field. Get the tarp closed, just in case there's any foul weather. Not that there's any forecast, but uh, we've got the tarp there, we will use it. We're going to jump in the combine for the last little part of this field now. And when I said the last little part, I really did mean the last little part. There is only a few plants there left to harvest but uh, just look at our yield there we are up around 90 bushels so that's, uh, that's even better than where we were when we started the field which is uh, that's fantastic another 47 bushels here in the combine we will go and get that unloaded into the trailer and then we'll be able to do a final tally on our yield in this field and we'll be able to have a look at the precision farming yield and just see how that compares to what we were expecting with the soil types there we go, just unloading those last few beans. And get the all closed back down and we'll park the combine just here. Uh, we won't put it in the way, but we will be bringing the heater trailer in to 
get the header disconnected and uh, run down to the next field and close that hopper up though because we don't want to be running down the road with that open. If we just bring up our map we can take a quick look. There's only a couple of little spots missed, nothing too major. Uh, if we take a look at the precision farming there you can see our yield, uh, certainly the worst parts around the outside of the field and in fact the best ground we got into was down here in the bottom left corner where we were actually over 100% on our yield. Uh, but there you go, you can see the parts that were 100%, quite a lot of the field through the middle there. And in fact, we got up to 125% of our targeted yield. So that is, uh, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that for this field. And how does that match to our soil types? You can see there the very good piece of soil down in here was where we yielded quite highly. So not much of that in field 23 where we're heading. But I think if we take a look over here at field 35, we've got some big chunks of that loam. So we're going to be, uh, we're going to be looking pretty good when we get over into there with the beans. We'll just put the header trailer over. We'll just uh, slowly move the header here onto that. Get that disconnected and ready to head down to the next field. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that position. There we go. All sorted. So we can take the combine over and park it up next to the grain cart. We won't run this down to the field just yet. I want to make sure we get the truck out of here and get that all dumped down into the bins and just get our final tally on this field. I'm just here in the semi and we've got another 762 bushels. So I've just done some quick calculations. 2013 bushels total off that field and that gave us an average yield of just under 90 bushels an acre. So with another uh, 110 acres of soybeans to go, we are certainly going to smash that target of 10,000 bushels out of the water. So uh, now that we know that and we're armed with that, we'll be able to make some better judgment calls for next season to figure out which fields we're going to put all our beans in and uh, which ones we get our corn in. So what will be interesting is when we get to that corn and find out what sort of yields we're going to get there and what we're going to be doing. Now remember the least field is only ours for this year. Uh, That's the only time we're going to be harvesting that one. So we are, once we've figured all of this out and got to the end of the season, we're going to have to make some decisions around land. Whether that is buying another field, finding another one to lease or uh, using the ground we've got to try and maximise our potential yields. Uh, so there's lots to consider still before we move into next season. However, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've still got a lot of harvesting to go. So I'm just going to get this emptied out in here and wrap things up. We will be, next time, we will be making sure that uh, we have two combines going. And in fact, I have got a demo combine coming. Uh, we've had someone contact us and give us the opportunity to try something a little bit different out which I'm looking forward to giving a go. Uh, does mean we won't be putting any hours on our combine either so that'll be good for uh, but keeping our gear in a better condition in the long term. There we go we are all emptied out I think that's a good place to leave the truck parked there undercover and uh, ready to go for next time. So there we go first day harvesting in Medicine Creek is all finished, or at least our first field on Medicine Creek is all finished. It is only 10.30 a.m., so plenty of time in the day left to make a start on the next one. But I hope you have all enjoyed that return to some Farming Simulator 19 content. Uh, it's been nice to bring it to you. It was one of the series I did want to keep going for a little bit longer and see where we get to with some of these targets we've set. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed that, and I'll catch you in the next one.